friends I am back with another modification I made to the printer this one's kind of silly but it's also something that may help beginners when they first start out so getting your bed level is one of the most essential things and then it's how you adjust the dials that matter most so here's the print I made and here's how it can help you so as we all know these dials are how we raise the bed or lower the bed so we can get the correct amount of smush uh, so that the print we're printing attaches to the bed. My problem is when I look at these little critters, I can never remember which way raises the bed up and which way lowers the bed so that there's more gap between the extruder and the print. So what I have designed is this simple little part right here and it is just going to snap on the very front right here and it's going to remind me which direction lowers the bed and which direction raises the bed and it was also kind of a cool print because it let me test the bridging capabilities of the printer even in its stock configuration so you can see that there's two little lips that are going to attach that piece on the front of the Ender 3. To raise the bed, turn the knob to the left. And I'm hoping by having this little piece attached right here that it just makes sense and I don't have to worry about it anymore. For this print, I lowered my temperature to 200 degrees Celsius. Usually I print at 210. And then I also changed the speed from my 60 that I normally use to 30 millimeters per second. And then the whole design was created in Tinkercad Super simple, just snaps on. If I end up not liking it, I just unsnap it. So friends, it is that the bed raises when it moves to the left, and just like I'm telling you in this movie, I always get it backwards. So I actually posted this wrong, and a wonderful user corrected me, and I came out and double, double, double checked it, and I'm rebuilding it right now with raise is what happens when you turn it to the left. And then we'll show you how it snaps on. Alrighty friends, here is our nifty little print. Now that I've fixed it and has bit, so it says that if we turn to the left, it raises the bed, it is ready to be attached. And then like I stress on all the things I've made for you, I like them to keep the ender as stock as possible. So I simply use a little screwdriver, lift that edge up over the lip, and we can get that to snap in. So we've always got a reminder of which way to turn the knobs to raise the bed. Left is raise. Uh, it took me two times to get it right, but hey, it is now. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching another Ender 3 video. If you found this video useful, please click that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. If you've got a question or a comment, please add it in the comments below. And last but not least, if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Tech, click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.